完。我哋香港早前成立，終於立咗二十三條嘅法例，跟住英國嘅領事、外交官不斷喺度胡言亂語，因此我哋今日嚟到呢度請願嘅。我代表民建聯喺度宣讀我哋嘅抗議信。民建聯強烈譴責英國網議廿三條立法干涉中國內政。立法會全票通過維護國家安全條例，順利完成基本法第二十三條立法，落實維護國家安全嘅憲制責任，充分展現香港社會民心所向。就此，民建聯強烈譴責英國外交發展大臣卡梅倫發表聲明，抹黑立法，貶損香港特區民主法治。抵毀一國兩制，國安才能講安，國安才能加安。制定維護國家安全條例係香港市民嘅共同願望，其根本目的係全面準確、堅定不移貫徹一國兩制方針，建立健全、特區維護國家安全嘅法律制度和執行機制，及時防範、抵禦和消除國家安全風險。更有效保障香港嘅長期繁榮穩定，保障港人福祉和外來投資者的利益，維護國家安全條例的立法程序嚴謹，罪行元素清晰，刑罰輕重寬嚴適度，強調尊重和保障人權，有效保障基本法和相關國際公約適用於香港嘅規定和所賦予嘅權利和自由。相比之下，英國去年落實嘅新國家安全法，早被廣泛批評設有大量新辣條款條文，包括不少條款定義模糊，以及對執法部門授權寬泛。我們奉勸卡梅倫收起偽善商標，先反省自己國家的問題。我們重申，中英聯合聲明的核心要義是中國恢復對香港行使主權，沒有。賦予英方干預回歸後香港事務的權利，因此英方對回歸後的香港冇主權、冇自權，更沒有所謂的監督權。我哋強烈督促英國政客認清事實，尊重國際法和國際關係嘅基本準則，停止干涉純屬中國內政的香港事務。民建聯喺呢個時間，我交俾周浩鼎議員。Uh, as you all noticed a few days ago, uh, there was a unanimous vote in support of the passage of the bill, the Bill of Safeguarding National Security, which is our Article 23 legislation. Unfortunately, shortly after that, David Cameron, which is the Foreign Secretary of the UK government, blasts and smear uh, the bill, the passage of the bill. And again, time and again, he keep carry on doing this smearing. The purpose is simple because he would like to suppress the development of China. So this is why he carry on with smearing our Article 23 legislation and turn a blind eye to the consensus of Hong Kong people, because we notice that everybody understand the unanimous votes in LegCo reflect the consensus of Hong Kong people in supporting the Article 23 legislation. And let me remind him that UK Last year, they passed their National Security Act 2023. Let me point out here again. If we read the details of their bill, in UK, they would ask a person to be investigated to receive polygraph test. Polygraph test. We don't do that in Hong Kong. Second, they, they would use a registration system, a draconian registration system to ask all the foreign power related entities and institutions uh, to, be uh, to, to do the registration. But we don't do that in Hong Kong too. So as compared with the National Security Act 2023 in United Kingdom, we see that our Article 23 legislation is more lenient and we attach more importance to human rights. So they shouldn't smear our Article 23 legislation and again, national security matters. We see our slogan here. National security matters. It matters everywhere. So that's why last year, they would enact their own law 
for the, sec uh, the National Security Act 2023. So why would they blast us? Why would they smear us when we do our job to safeguard our national security? That only showcased their double standard and hypocrisy. And I also remind him, the more he talk about or smear our Article 23 legislation, the more he looked like the stooge of the United States. So I should remind him he should mind his own business instead of meddling with Hong Kong affairs. And also, the Joint Declaration, I noticed that he mentioned again the Joint Declaration, but let me remind him the Joint Declaration has already been incorporated in our basic law. So the UK government has no role to play in Hong Kong governance. I think he really should stop meddling with Hong Kong affairs and he should face the reality. So that's why we are here to condemn his unscrupulous behavior and also his smearing makes him really look like the stooge of the United States. So I should remind the UK government to reverse course immediately and stop meddling with Hong Kong affairs. Thank you. 好,在這裡我們一起嗌幾句口號 英國門客也三條立法。英國門客也三條立法。英國政客可恥。英國政客可恥。好啦,我哋喺度呢,我哋有封抗議信嘅,我哋交代英國嘅領事館,因為佢哋亦都唔派人出嚟接信,我哋